am having so much fun with this Facebook Live because whatever happens, happens. It's very freeing for me because there's no editing, which I don't mind editing videos at all, but this is just new and different and I am enjoying it. So much so that um, big decisions have been made and things that I've been playing with in my mind for quite a while. And I'm really feeling this is a fun thing, right? So for the first, for my first collection, I had the incredible privilege of having a design team that we called for. We had thousands of, uh, I don't know if entries is the right word, but um, expressions of interest is that what we say. And what an incredible time that has been. And all of the posts have just been wonderful. I've absolutely loved that whole experience. And um, for my second collection, I can't believe I'm talking about a second collection still, in my first year of creating Art Supplies. It's totally surreal and I'm just so happy. And there's been so much excitement and happiness and buzz and I've enjoyed so much uh, just chit chatting. Oh, it's so funny because I, I'm trying not to read the little pop-up questions so that I, otherwise I'll get distracted, which I've just done squirrel, just did then. But anyway, um, I'm just enjoying this so much that this is what we're having for <laughs> the second collection. And um, I really am looking forward to it showing you and explaining why colors are called certain things and why they are certain colors. and. Um, as I'm showing you techniques and how to use uh, different uh, products and all the things I've created. So I'm hoping that you really enjoy that too. It seems to be people are enjoying it. So we'll just see if you're enjoying it and I'm enjoying it, then that's good, right? What are people? Oh, it's like, so I can't wait. Yes. Okay, so I'm just going to top this with, um, because otherwise I know people ask, the collection you can see right now on janedovenport.com from no, October 20, <laughs> from October 20, you will start seeing it in Michael's stores. Will it be in your Michael's, your favourite store on the 20th? I don't know. It just depends on trucks and things that I have no control over. But from that date, that's when the new Jane Davenport collection will start to be set into stores. You can always call ahead um, or just be there on the 20th and introduce yourself to all the Michaels associates and let them know you will be haunting them <laughs> until, you know, you see the Jane things there. <sighs> I'm joking. Um, so, I'm not really because I do want... And also when you see your the new Jane things. Because I'm not in America, I'm in Australia, I love seeing photographs of um, of the new collection. And if you're part of my Jane Davenport Mixed Media group on Facebook, you can share pictures of you with your dog or whatever you would like to do of the new collection and just make sure you tell us where you are seeing it so that other Davenport peeps can uh, see it too and they know to quickly rush in before things will sold out. <laughs> we will have um, really cool guest posts. I've got a series of guest posts that's coming up uh, on the blog. Um, but a massive thank you uh, to, and I'll do a written thank you as well on the blog, um, to Courtney Tonya, who will be at my house soon in November. She's a friend of mine. And I love her. And so you'll probably see us live as well on here. Just hinting. Uh, who did I? Courtney, Tonya, Ali, James, Cindy, Matisse, and Tiffany. We've loved. Them. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Dove and Party because you're new to Jane Dove, uh, then you can check janedovenport.com. You can see my blog, and you can see all these incredible blog posts uh, of all sorts of different projects involving Jane Davenport Mixed Media. So enough. I feel like I've been blabbing on for too long. And I just want to do some art. So the reason that I even started doing this video just now is because I started to work in my journals and I thought I should be showing this to you. So I thought, okay, 
put on some lippy, da <laughs> broadcast to the world, what could possibly go wrong? We shall see, won't we? I'm sure something will. <laughs> so I'm going to flick my camera around. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all, if you get motion sickness. Oh, but I'll just get up perfect view so we can all see yes and what I wanted to well what I wanted to play with and you know therefore show you was this is part of the marbling kit so I did it on my big reveal to show you a little and I'm, I'm not doing any marbling Ooh, I'm off uh, marbling at the moment but basically the marbling kit everything comes in one cute box and the box is a chain box in a pretty barley blue. And you've got the thickening uh, powders. The, this, this treats the water. You have to mix it up. I put a little timer and just mix it every so often. Follow the instructions. Then you drop your inks on and you use the little dowel that comes through with it. And you da -da -da, do a pattern, dip your papers in. And you get this, you know, all these beautiful marbling effects. It's a lot of fun. Hello. Things that you just couldn't paint is what I love about it. So what I wanted to, so that's one part of the kit. So what comes with the kit are some little postcards that uh, I've drawn on, not each individual one. They're printed with my drawings. Oh, I can't find the, ah, this, here's some, here they are. So they come with some plain papers, but also they come with these little postcards that are on the watercolor paper. And then they also come with a washi tape. Oh, this is a washi tape and it's like a giant washi tape in sections so that you can then pull that off and put it on your marbled piece so you can see this is the one with the um, out anything's just got the marbling and this is with the just the face stuck on so if you were creating the reason I did this was for people who have creative uh, tendencies or might have a creative member of their family or you want to help you know, foster more creativity uh, in the people around you, this is something you can do together. Like you could each have a little kit or you could each share the kit and you can work on something. And, so, and people that can't draw or too scared to draw, they can still create something fun. And here, that thing there is a, one of my stamps from my mandala set. Uh, and I, I'm going to show you that later because it actually involves um, another surprise that I've got coming. I'm just waiting for them to arrive. Uh, so, but, so I won't share them today. But on, in my journal, I'm using, I'm using these pretty little, um, oh, they're so cute. I just love washi tape. And the other thing this set comes with is a whole set of rub-ons, four sheets of rub-ons that echo the, these designs and you can use them in all other ways. So what I'm going to show you is how I've been using the washi tapes, the, these little sets in my journal. Uh, so of course I'm going to use my little papers, but you could use this as a postcard or something else. This is one of the washi stickers with the gold rub on on top. So that's from, is she in this journal? I don't know. No, I don't think she is in this journal, but that lady yeah, she's somewhere. So that was just one idea. And then I've, I've put one of these stickers on here. This is just a, a wish wash of paint. And I've used her to create a whole nother thing. Like paint over her or do whatever I want. These are <laughs> lots of pages I use to create this current collection. And so this is my washi tape. So you may have seen this picture on some of my images showing you how, just ideas of how to use the washi tape. But what I didn't tell you was at the time, because it was secret, 
but this was the next color palette so these are the gorgeous well that's the metallic but these are these gorgeous deeper colors i'm so happy that i got to do a second collection and get all of these deeper colors to happen for you oh it's these ones here this is this is where i'm working out what colors are in each collection this is what this whole book is <laughs> all these paints that are under here are working out which colors you know, how to, um, if the colors were quite right how they mix together um, i put this up on um this is from the primary set which are these colors so i had this up on instagram this morning and this is just white gesso um and in one of the new Dorber bottles, which I just remembered I haven't actually shown you. <laughs> so this is a Dorber bottle because it kind of goes with something else that I'm going to show you. Um, but I put some of my gesso in this and a little bit of water to make it like super milky and like a lime wash. And I created my little polar bear today. I'm, I'm kind of excited and I'm babbling. I'm so sorry. Uh, what were those neon and pastel paint swatches? Nothing. Just pretend you didn't see those. <laughs> so I've got my tie, my little marbling thing. Now this was a very dark marbling after I had done a lot of colours and things were getting pretty mucky. But I love it. I just, I don't know why I love it. I just love it. I like that the paper has these white dots where the ink didn't print. To me... It's just really beautiful. I just really like it. So, uh, I've got some, I went on a, I did a workshop with Diane Reevely yesterday. It was so much fun. I got to meet her and I've always chatted with her on Facebook, but I haven't actually met her in person and she's so nice. And so I took, that's, anyway, I'm just unpacking my stuff. So let's, I want to use this one and I want to use this one, but not in the way that I intended. So I've shown you, you know, how I intended for people to use it. But let's think of a few other fun ways. And, um, oh, no, I've done something funny to my poor pen. I'm just going to, so this is the paint over pen in Unicorn. And I'm just going to... I'm starting with the eyes, so I'm following. Can you see the, you can see the print, can't you? Yes. And I don't have this journal. Uh, do I? Just give me one second. Sorry, sorry, I'm scruffling. I'm just scruffling. So this is one of my smaller journals. I know it's in a small journal. I have so many journals that for me to remember an individual where something individually came from is really difficult but I have it's either here or in another one that's in a different room so <laughs> anyway I can just show you this is a journal flip oh this is where I've actually dipped my journal into the marbling uh, liquid and uh, I'll show you oh no that's in the other journal hm. I'm sorry I told you it's live this is just what happens happens right Ah, it's not in this one. Okay. La, la, la. One last flick. No. I thought it was in there. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the original because she is literally the same as that. Um, let's just get back to this one. Stop being distracted, Jane. And I'm going to add a little bit of this mermaid. So her eyes might not stay blue, but... This is just the base colour. I might make them a bit more of a deeper colour at some point. So I'm just going to try and bring out some details in here. But I, I think I want to keep her having darker skin because that is beautiful. But I do want to make her pop out from this background. So that means that I have to start working on getting that to go back in space. So I might just start by drawing over, you know, just using that as a background. But see what the 
my intention for you is this is just a starting point. It's like training wheels, I guess, or a little creative kickstart so that you can get rolling with this. Now, this is my incredible pen. And what I've got in here is a waterproof uh, fountain pen ink. This is actually made in Australia, and if you, I have it on my website. Uh, it's called Barrister Black. Um, as I said, it's a fountain pen ink, which means it's for this guy. Uh, and it's archival for legal documents. So it's waterproof, age proof, blah, blah, blah. And works really beautifully in the incredible pen. The other pen I would um, like to use is sometimes is that my Epic pen, which is my much finer one. Um, yeah, I think I took it away yesterday, so I don't have it. I don't need it. This is actually better because it is a bit thicker. And I've got to get over all this paint that's on here. So I'm just starting to redefine. And what you could do is completely recreate something. You're just using this just, as, just to help you get going. Again, I could make this a, a deeper lip colour uh, later. It doesn't even have to be real lip colour. It can be whatever colour I like. Put a little bit of a highlight on there. And I really do need to get a highlight on her nose, but um, I don't know if I want to use this. I might just use something a little bit subtler. So I'm going to use my um, pencil. So this is one of my magic wands. So this is the this is a bit of light on the bridge of her nose. Yeah, there's the ball of the nose which catches light. A little bit on the nostril, maybe a little bit under the nostril. I can even come down here onto the, around the uh, philtrum or the lip dip. This little, you know, Cupid's bow. A little bit of light catches on here. That's dry enough for me to draw on now. A bit of light maybe on her chin. So I'm keeping her beautiful darker skin tone. But I can still add some just highlights. Just above the eye there in the eye socket. Um, if you know if it was yours you could draw the eye the eyebrows in a different spot or you know change the shape of the lips. So why don't we do that? I might do that. Do I want to use this dark colour? Yeah just I can always go over it with my paint over pen. So I might just make her mouth a little bit bigger and just change the shape of it a bit. And um, I do have how to draw faces lessons uh, on my website if you would like to learn more about drawing faces. So I'm just sort of like inching out the details a little bit more and I might, I don't know if I want to lose that so I'm going to use, these are my magic wands and I've put sticky tape on them so I know which set they are <laughs> because I've got a lot of things floating around and different samples, different versions so all of the ones with the same sticky tape have the washi tape are the same family i might add a little bit of eclipse yeah and then i did put my lavender around there as well i could change the shape of that of the hair can you can see this okay And um, <laughs> this is a new colour. This is Shark's Eye. Oh, just it was a bit juicy. So I'm going to, I might just drop my video down a little bit. I'm just, I'm just looking at things. Yes, um, someone was just saying something about the incredible pen. It's a really good little thing to have in your arsenal. I wouldn't use my fancy fountain pens on um, paint and other weird things, no way. They're too expensive, but the incredible pen is just a wonderful tool because you can be a little bit rougher with it because it didn't cost an arm and a leg, which fountain pens do, can 
definitely do. Uh, looking for water, looking for paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to use this as one of the new uh, paintbrushes from my paint kit from the Metallics. And I'm using this just to bring in a little bit of depth. I'm adding lots and lots of water just gradually, uh, just so I can. Uh, so it will be dark next to her and then fan out because I don't want to lose all of my marbling But I do want her to stand out a little. I oh, don't need it on there And I'm just going to soften that edge in there So now Oh, I like her uh, And I might This might not be white 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 enough. It's just For the eyes. I just want to get that little highlight See what a difference it makes when you get that little highlight in there. Mm, yummy! And then, of course, I, I'm not going for a masterpiece here. I'm. This is me journaling and having fun, really, creating. So, um, I'm not looking for perfection. You might be, but I'm not. <laughs> Like when you're creating, is it because you want to, you know, it's fun. That's why I create anyway. If I create something nice, then that's a nice little bonus. Oh, she's got very nice high cheekbones, this lady. She's quite, she's strong. She has strength in her face. I like it. I think I came in a little bit too tight there. But I can add a little, once that's dried, I can add a little bit of, I can add more to, like even add red or my coral paint pen, or something else out there. As this dries, we'll be able to see through it, but I could also just dab off some of my brief uh, paint pen. And once that's dry, um, and that actual white little paint, Mia does look a bit weird, so I'm going to cover that up. And now it's just a beauty mark. And I might just add a little bit of flush of life to the cheeks. And I will come in and make those lips darker over time. But once that's dry, I'm, I'm actually going to uh, tip that in. Because I think that would look really cool, like here. So I could glue it in. Oh, excuse me. But... I am not going to do that. I am going to sticky tape it in, maybe with this one. So this is one of my washi tapes. Uh, this is called a tip-in. So I'm just going to... Hopefully it's straight. If it's not, the beautiful thing about washi tape is that things don't need to be straight. And then on this side, I'm just making sure I'm on screen, sorry. On this side, I'm just going to add some more. Gorgeous. And I, what I don't want is that little sticky bit free, so I can just snip that and fold that down. I haven't got any little sticky bits there, have I? Oh yeah, fold it down. And I've got a nice little creature there. And then with this one, I think that's dry enough to turn the page. Yeah. And this, oh, this is one, I showed you that already. I did this morning. Uh, I've got a metallic page, that's what I wanted to create on. That's the, oh, here we go. So this girl is on the back of the packaging of the metallic set, which is, this looks very organised. These just happen to be right in front of me. I'm so impressed with myself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just being able to pull them out. Uh, these are the metallic paints. They're beautiful. You can still keep working on them, even though they're a metallic. 
and they come with a stencil that has all these little crowns on it so this is on the back of the packaging I love it uh, so let's use this lady here because I thought if I put a face here the nice thing about having something like this a collage element or like the tissue paper rub-ons this is the washi from the marbling kit the great thing about this is I can move it around on different pages and I can get different ideas of what I'd like. So when I was doing that, um, I thought, I saw this and I thought, well, that is her hair. So she's got a, like a pompadour. And then I'm going to do a crown in there. So I ha I'm not too sure what I'm going to create with because she's purples. So I might want to knock that back or... I might want to add purple, bring a bit of purple in here. But I thought it would be quite nice if she's here dreaming of this one or if this one's thinking of this one, who knows. It's just part of the story. You know, it's a spread that's going to talk to each other. I haven't tried. Oh, this is mermaid marker on the metallic. Oh, uh, excuse me. That is beautiful. It might take a little while to dry, though. But for now, I'm just going to erase it with water. I wonder how long it will take to dry. Even if I put it on and dab it off, that would be super cool. Maybe not black. I'm not going to use the black. I'm going to use... I told you this is happening in real time. <laughs> I'm going to use deep sea because this is, will marry up with this purple here. And I'm going to carry that neckline down uh, into a very custom <laughs> Jane neck. That can be earrings. And as you just saw, it's very easy to correct things with water when they're like this. And in fact, because I have the neck there on the washi, but I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring that back here. And I'm just going to customise. I'm going to customise my own work. Ah, now, I'm on paper now, so that's why this is not coming off. But I love the... Uh, oh, the differences. Oh, 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 that's very nice. Uh, this is one of my little new brushes. I'm just going to add some water to this um, deep sea on this side. Just to spread that out. And I'm kind of blocking... Uh, the my lady out as I go and I might I've got my brush cup here with all my little things in it my mermaid markers I'm going I'm looking for which color I might use just to use for her hair I might use uh, gills which is a new one of my new colors so this comes in the shipwreck set and I want to make this kind of like a like a Marie Antoinette, you know, the great big hairdos that were all teased are uh, wigs. Massive, massive wigs. Very theatrical. Uh, and just here is one of the rub-ons from my journal tattoo set. I think I told you before, rub-ons is such a funny word. Um, that I didn't, I want them to call it something else. They're journal tattoos, that's what they are. So I'm just playing. This is all can just be an under study. Under study. So I'm just getting in her pumpfully hair. Thanks, Angelique. That was a nice comment. Oh, look at how these colours are ma matching. And because I've got the metallic underneath. They look metallic. Oh, it's very pretty. It's very making me happy. And because it is going to take a long time to dry, um, I'm just going to give it a bit of texture. You have to wait till October for most of this year, CJ. But luckily, October is like two weeks away. Well, near enough. Okay, now because I've, I've got this gold here, uh, I've got this opportunity to have a crown. 
so I could use my stencils, but that crown won't be big enough. But what I'm also going to do, oh no, no, that's the wrong one. What I'm also going to do, what about if I take some of the metallic into her face, like this onto the washi so that it incorporates it. And I could even rip that and give it an odd edge, but I kind of like knowing that this is not um, just, sorry, I had to drink water before I died. So I'm just adding this nice translucent color. Now the um, mermaid marker is going to move around, but that might be cool. That would just make it look even better. And then I'm adding this um, pearlescent sheen onto her alabaster Marie Antoinette hair. So it's cool, I've used the same artwork to create three very, very different uh, ladies. It's cool. I might put a bit of pearlescent there. So that's just going to help incorporate uh, it. I might just make that even a bit thicker. And let it come over and... Yeah, so fun. And I might even do this because that will mush, mush, mush with the pink. And make it go gold, gold and other colours as well. Mm, very nice. Very often when I say very nice, I mean uh, as in I don't hate that. That's, that's, I can live with that. This is um, the gold. This is called Falling Star in my Celestial Sky set. It's a metallic. And you need to activate the metallic particles before you. So I'm showed you on a different video but I do this rather than shaking up and down because then you get ink flying everywhere better just to give it a bit of a swirl like that and oh wait a minute okay 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 no 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 what am I doing I want to do something different hang on hang on do I have some here because in my comfort tissue the new comfort tissue I have crowns I have crowns Oh my gosh, I have a pink crown. Oops, I tore it. I can use that again, that's all right. <laughs> oh, I might even use that. Oh, see how nice that blue looks on there? Just zhuzhes that up. Zhuzh. I'm going to put that one out. She definitely needs a crown. Maybe a white crown. No, she needs a turquoise crown. I'm not sure. But these are washi washi stickers. Oh yeah, look, I've got turquoise crowns. I wonder. This will take it in a totally different direction. Um, turquoise crown, pink crown, nah, boring. I kind of like her there. That's a little bit more regal. And I like this line and this line. I think this, I think this is what, this, I'm feeling happy today. I'm happy to be sitting here chatting with you. So I'm going happy. Uh, I'll be even happier if I can <laughs> get this off more easily. So you can see this is very, 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 it's just tissue paper with the adhesive on the back and a coating. And we now have crown. Yum. And we now have, so this, what's printed on here, are things from my collection of uh, cool um, little children's school books that I've collected in Paris and Italy. So they're from the 1910s, 20s, 30s, where people are writing in, um, they're doing their schoolwork in fountain pens. I would have loved that. I would have loved that so much. <laughs> I can't even tell you if I had to do that as a kid, but I can see that it wouldn't 
suit everybody. So I'm just looking for a few more little knickknacks in here just because I'm now on a tear with these. I love these little guys so much. So this is so fun because I have no idea what I'm going to show you. We just have to wait and see. Um, and it's kind of madness at the moment. So I'm going to zoom back out. And ooh, ooh, so underneath everything, I've got one of my splat mats. So now I think I need to get a, like a heavier line around this so that it makes sense. The optics at the moment are confusing. So I'm just putting them out of the way. And I think I'm going to use, I'm going to start with my dark purple because I've got the purple on here and then see what I want to use. I might have to move into purple acrylics. At the moment she kind of looks like a beard. I wonder if I take this all out into purple. What happens? Remembering I can take it off. I can rub that off with water. This might stain my brush. It's a nice little stainy colour but eh. There are worse colours to be mermaid brush aren't they? She would quite like to be made purple. So you just don't know what you are going to create until you start creating it. So fearlessness, Jane, fearlessness. It's just for fun. I'm not creating something for a museum. I'm just, it's my journal. It's mine. So this, um, this gold that's behind here, who knows, that might be something else. Can I tell you? Very much so. How much I am loving the metallic pearl underneath the mermaid marker. And that's dried. Sometimes with these sorts of paints it takes a long time, but and I don't think I've tried them over the metallic. You know, that's not... <gasps> oh, look at the difference between the metallic and the paper. It's just heaven. The rub on's gone all weird. I love it. Like it's all kind of crackly and distressed. It's got like a coffee ring around it. The marker is like attacking the edges of the comfort tissue and it's doing yummy yum sauce things. I like it. I like this. But then this still isn't strong enough here. So I'm going to have to come in with this guy. And again, I don't want him to be too juicy. I want him to be. Because I've moved the neckline back. I don't know if that'll dry on the washi. Let's see. I am the hair, so when you're drawing hair, you start where it grows from and continue until where the hair stops rather than doing little jagged um, hairs. So this is obviously a crazy fantasy, so we don't have to worry about reality. I mean, she's metallic white, so... So I'm just getting her to whoosh off the page. Right. Let's bring this line around here. That's her eyelash. Just to make it more stark. The Kings of the North. Oops. Mm, actually, I quite like Oops, some Splatters, if there's, I often do that. If the pen is brave enough to splatter, then the rule to myself is I then <laughs> let it do more splatters because splatters are kind of cool. 
there's the pen telling you that it's not been used enough and it wants more freedom. So now the black of her eye line, I need to juice that up a little. And I'll need to let that sit and dry. Oh, but I like her. She's like kind of hoity tweety. Okay, so I'm going to let her dry, but I hope that you have enjoyed this little session with me and that you are tempted to get out your art stuff if you haven't already and have a little bit of fun, creative time for yourself because it's good for you. It's good for you. It's an important thing, our creativity. I tend to get splatter everywhere. Oh, yeah, well, obviously I do as well. Okay, so I'm going to flick the camera around. And um, say goodbye to you. Thank you for joining me. I know this is longer and it's not edited and all that, but it's kind of fun, right? I'm covered in paint. I've had a great time. Leave a comment and... Let me know what you liked. Something like that. <laughs> or ask a question.